All right, so welcome everybody to the self-paced orientation meeting. Uh, my name is Dan Garcia, and I am the uh, faculty advisor, advisor, faculty director, faculty yeah, like director. director. I'm the director of the self. I'm learning every day. I'm learning yeah, new things. I think that's what we call mine. Okay, so I'm the director of the self-paced program. It's great to see all of you smiling faces here. I'm going to describe what the self-paced <laughs> center is and what all the 12 courses we offer will, will be. Um, we've just moved, so we have a new address, 200A Sutarja Dai Hall. It's right next to the new cafe in the Citrus Building. So that's an easy way to find us. You have to go into the cafe to get to our hub, get to our, our center. You don't go through the lab, you actually go into the cafe and then go through, there's a little love lounge in the back. You go through the love lounge and then you go into our center. So let's get started. We have 12 courses, they come in three different flavors. As you see on the front page, CS3S, uh, CS9 series, and CS47 series, and I'll address all of those now. Feel free, by the way, to ask questions, or if you have a particular question about your, your particular situation, say that to the end. I'll have lots of time to sit in the front, and we'll talk to all of you about any questions you have about, well, I took this course at that school, and does that get cut for that? I'll talk to all of you about that individually. So if a question is relevant to the whole class, ask that one, otherwise save it till the end. So, as I mentioned before, we have three different flavors. Uh, I should make a beep sound so I know that the slides change. Beep! So, uh, the different flavors are CS3. No, those of you are old, don't, don't know, that's an old school joke. In the old days, you used to watch these slides and you, the, the film would actually make, okay. So, the first, uh, the first course is CS3S. S stands for self-paced, so it's distinct from CS3L, which is a lab-based version. The self-paced course is a really cool course because it allows you to take it for a variable number of units. The lab-based course, title of this course, by the way, is Introduction to Symbolic Programming. It's in Scheme. In the lab-based course, which is already kind of going on, you already missed two or three, you've already missed the lab last week, and the, you haven't missed anything in self-paced because we have enough flexibility to allow people to start now. If you actually wanted to start this course now, you're actually not behind, but you're actually three or four days behind if you did the lab-based course. The lab-based course is a six-hour in-lab and one-hour of lecture course. It's a very different way of learning. We realized in, in computer science education, research has told us that people learn best by doing. So we actually have changed our whole lower division, our introductory courses, so that you spend most of your time actually doing it in lab, actually doing the programming and the assignments and the things, and even small quizzes in lab. Just a little bit listening. In the olden days, it was all about big, you know, bearded sage person on front, and, uh, waxing philosophic on a big chalkboard and chalk dust all over the bodies. Not anymore. We've learned that you people do best. Folks, students loot, learn best by actually doing it. So that's the lab-based version. What's the self-paced version? Well, turns out educational research also told us that the best way to learn, the best way in the whole world to learn is to have two things. Uh, Bloom had a paper in the 1950s, and here's what the paper said. The paper said, we're going to do some studies on educational research. We're going to actually take a large class and divide it into lots of different control different groups. So one main stable control group and then some experimental groups. One stable control group doing the standard thing where you hear people lecture, 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 exam. Lecture, 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 exam. Normal course, right? Then they said, what if we tried some unique new cool thing? What if we had one-on-one -on -one instruction? What does that mean? That means that you don't learn by the lecture, lecture, lecture. You learn by there's one tutor, and there's you, and there's the material, and you're doing the same thing they were learning in lecture, but you're doing it one-on-one. -on -one. Any questions you have, you get them answered immediately. Right? You get to go on your own pace. One-on-one, -on -one, private tutor for this one student, for the whole class of students, or a whole control group, and that all those kids got one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And there's another control group that had mastery. What's, what normally happens in classes? What normally happens in classes is you take your midterm, and guess what? Oh, you get an 85. That's pretty good. Okay. But you move on. That 15% that you got wrong, you never have to prove to them that you know it. You just move on, right? They said, what if we actually didn't let that happen? What if we actually forced that student to go back, study again, in however way they do, come on back and take that exam again? Different questions. You know, you can change the questions here and there. People, we, we all make up midterms every semester. We can obviously make up more questions. Same difficulty material, same topics, but just a different exam. And you keep taking it over and over and over until you get it perfectly right. That's called mastery. You don't get to move on until you are 100% covered on that material. They had a third experimental group. And that third experimental group actually 
did both mastery and one-on-one tutoring. Okay. What, was the, what were his results? His results were, if you consider the average grade is the main class that, you know, the normal control group, that's what they got the average grade. Let's say that's the average. And then you kind of plot a little curve and all that stuff. All right. Where did the control group lie? What do you guys think the, say, one-on-one -on -one tutoring group lie? Did they do worse, about the same, or above the group that was taught the normal standard way? Above, right? How much above? One full standard deviation. That's pretty amazing. So that says, wow, that, that really works. That stuff really works. And they had enough numbers to actually make this real. Okay? Then they said, let's think about this. How about that other control group? Independently, where did they fall? They were also one, you know, within noise, one standard deviation above the average. How about that special control group that got both of those things? Guess where they lied? One standard deviation. Two. Two standard deviations above the mean. Do you know how much two standard deviations is, folks? That's unbelievable in terms of results. That they both worked. So, can we do that everywhere? Can we do that at Cal? What are the numbers? 35,000 students, you know, 1,500 faculty. Can we do one-on-one -on -one teaching with mastery in one semester? Can't be done, right? But how do we do it? Well, we hire lots of awesome tutors. We have a nice tutor. Well, you know, for every extra 30 tutors, for every extra 30 students that come in, I can hire more tutors in my center. I hire top, top, top-notch juniors and seniors for the most part, some grad students to be your one-on-one -on -one tutors. And the way you learn, I'm just kind of picturing the whole, this is putting a big umbrella, the whole self-paced program we have, is you learn by going off, doing your reading assignments, doing some programs, writing some programming assignments, and coming in and taking quizzes to verify. If you don't get all the quiz right, it's not a failure. You just go back, study some more, and come back again. And you cannot pass that quiz in until you get the entire quiz right. That's the mastery part. How about the one-on-one -on -one tutoring part? Well, that's what I have. Every time you walk into this, the, our self-paced center, you're going to be working with a single tutor. You and nobody else and a single tutor. That's the one-on-one -on -one part. And the reality is most of the learning you're going to do is working on the projects. And you're working on the program assignments and studying, reading the book, all that stuff. That's on your own. And when you come in, if you have questions, one-on-one. -on -one. You want to get a quiz graded, one-on-one. -on -one. You want to get a programming assignment checked off, one-on-one. -on -one. We are actually doing exactly what Bloom said, gave you two standard deviations above the mean, we are doing in the self-paced center. There used to be self-paced centers in math and in physics, and they've all gone away. Only computing is still around, and we've been around for 32 years. I just happen to be the most recent person to, to, to lead this, this center. I'm not the founder. So we really believe this. And the challenge for education, for education, for, for folks like me who are also instructors in the normal big classes that you're all familiar with, you know, the one math 1A and all those classes, the challenge is how do you get to kind of, that's the ultimate peak, that two sigma is where you want to be. That kind of learning is where you want to get to. And the challenge for all of us is how do you take a lecture class and try to simulate as much of the things that Bloom did in his research to get to that two sigma real high learning point. So, I feel so proud to be part of and lead of this great self-paced center that actually does what has been proven many over oh, time and time and again really works. One-on-one -on -one instruction and mastery. <laughs> so, mastery of the programming assignments means you have to finish the whole checkoff. If you miss something, no, no worries. Go to the, go to the computer there, bring your laptop up, go home, fix it, come back and finish it off. That's mastery of the programming assignments and mastery of the quizzes means you keep taking it until you get it right. And you don't move on until you do. It's awesome and it really works. So. This self-paced program, that kind of puts a picture on what the CS3S, the self-paced version of CS3, how that's different from the lab-based version. Lab-based version, you take your midterm, 85, you're moving on. R3S, you got to take your quiz. If you don't master it, you will not move on. Now, the nice thing is we have smaller quizzes. Rather than a huge midterm, we just have small quizzes, which means it's easier to master a little teeny bit than a whole thing. I mean, nobody's going to get 100 questions all right. Maybe five you will, and that's what you have to do. That's how it works. The other nice thing about this is you, the CS3S students, can take this at a variable pace. Not just the all four units, which is four units over the course of 16 weeks. You can take it two units, or three units, and four, or four units. And we have the power to turn your unit number up, which means you are all forbidden from signing up for three or four, even, that's what your, even if that's what your intention is. You have to sign up for the minimum, because we can always turn the knob up for how many credits you've actually done. We can never turn the knob down. Meaning, if you tell Sproul, hey, four units CS3L, 3S3S, 
and you only do three units, which means you don't do the project, you lose all those points of the project, you probably won't pass the class. We can't turn the knob to, oh, they said